Police charged a man with making threats against a local church. Witnesses said the man started asking some strange questions during a prayer group this morning and referenced mass shootings. John Shumway is live in Cranberry with what police are saying about this. John? Yeah, Ken, and I talked to the pastors here at the Victory Family Church. They are trying to downplay what occurred here this morning. Cranberry police are not. It was in the midst of the 6 a.m. prayer service that police say 43-year-old Edwin Leach of Zelianople walked into the sanctuary and sat in an area away from the other worshipers. The church pastors say he asked if he could question the leader of the service and was told no. He was uh, agitated, I would say, uh, best term. A little bit irrational. The police report an affidavit says when he was asked to leave, Leach refused. The individual had made comments to them about being the second messiah. Um, obviously, they became very concerned. Sergeant Massalino says when Cranberry police arrived, security had Leach out of the building, and the attendees were on lockdown inside. After he was taken into custody, it's my understanding that the parishioners that were there, uh, approximately 100 people, had left the building. Specifically, the affidavit says the words that caused the most alarm were when Leach reportedly said, quote, this is how mass shootings happen. I have mental problems, end quote. We have not located any weapons at this time. But there was no way to know that at the time. And in the current climate, the sergeant says. It just makes um, the public and law enforcement more aware, and we do take them serious. Which is why the terroristic threat charge Leach is now facing is a felony. And from the affidavit of probable cause, Leach explained to the police, it says, that he made the mass shooting statement because he, quote, wanted to teach them a lesson, end quote, on how to treat people. He also advised the police that he is an expert on mass shootings because he studies them a lot. Again, he's in jail tonight on $50,000 bond. More coming up at 6 o'clock. We're now live in Cranberry Township. John Shumway, KDKA News.